What is going on everybody? CWSFL is back. We got week seven. The regular season is on the back half. Uh, and you know, it's coming it's starting to come to a close. We got a few weeks left. Playoff races are really starting to heat up. Right now, though, we got the Bangkok Pandas taking on the Ghana Gazelles here um, in Ghana. Man, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We got a great matchup between Hunter Jackson taking on a team that he got his career started with, won a, a gold ball with as a rookie uh, when he was a uh, backup for Jay Money. Now he's leading his own team in the Gazelles, and man, he had a great season last year. He's killing it this year. He's looking great with the Gazelles. Got the offense thriving, and now he, go, he gets to go up against this tough Pandas defense. Going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait to get into it. Kickoff is getting ready to happen. Should be a great game. Let's get it going. Wow, look at that. Pandas are going to start off on the offense. Mm. But we get to see what Jay Money and Jalen Jones has got for us today. More chase, more face. No one's gonna catch the 73 yard touchdown. Jamar Chase is a bad, bad dude. I mean, that was crazy. How in the world? What in the world? Seven to zero. Pandas have a lead here, and within the first fifty-five seconds. Philip Evers. Philip Evers has had a had a good rookie season so far this year. Looks like the Gazelles have found their lead back for the future. Gazelles won this game, possibly pull off the upset. That's what they got to do to pull off the upset. The Gazelles want to win this game. Philip Evers. Just gotta have a couple of touchdowns. It's gotta be a multi multiple touchdown game from Everest. No turnovers from the offense. And Tina cannot do that. <laughs> they have to be able to run the ball to his side. Oh, Archie Wild getting involved in it too. I'm running the football. Wow. Try to get a screen on third and 12. And now it's fourth and nine. Uh, not, not, not too much happening here for the Gazelle's offense. Um, and it looks like Analyzer is going to come out here and punt. That's a good punt, though. Uh oh, Flaney Floss getting involved. Oh, dangerous pass. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> My flaming floss is now starting to get going. Dang, he's got him. Hmm. Pro growth. Progo's seen a lot more usage this year, and he's definitely been um, making the most of it. He's having uh, quite the season so far. Ooh. That, uh... X Factor might be able to intercept that one, but instead he was able to just get a hand on it. Um, man, it's going to be a deflection. Second and 10 now. First uh, incompletion for Hunter Jackson. Bang. Jackson zipped that across the middle and found the man uh, for a first down. They gotta get rid of these screens. Screenplays are killing them. <laughs> but the team has found something here. Um in the runs uh the <laughs> in the up the up the middle for the um the gazelles have found something uh, over the middle here on the pandas defense and it's now starting to open ways for them on the outside but dang and uh, when they're passing and they run it up the middle that's so far been their best option Uh -oh. good here. Yeah. There it is. Give it to him. Touchdown. Gazelles are on the board. That is a tough one here, is it? 14-7, second and 10. Jalen Jones says, just give it to me. And he mm -hmm. did. He had a great block from his receiver on the outside. He takes it for a huge gain of 46 yards on this third carry. Uh-oh. Big dishwasher. No, he didn't.
All right, gazelles, we need another strong drive like we had in the last one. Thank Jason Brzee. He's been quite the weapon right there on that slant route. Yeah. said it earlier man they got to get rid of these screens Oh, beautiful pass. Oh. Savage. The rookie. Top down by the um the right card. Dang, Jalen Jones, give him 10. They can't let the Panthers score again. I got a touchdown. There it is, right as you said it. And it's good. So we got 16 seconds left before halftime. It's 28 to 7. The Gazelles did have that run really good drive where put up 7, but they're not really built for this uh, uh, to come back from a deficit like this. Oh, intercepted Archie Wild. Wow, Hunter Jackson. Picked off. That's oh. tough. Better than they score again. They could. <laughs> and they do. You called it. Jalen Jones. Not looking good for the um Gazelles. All right, we're at halftime right now. Um, 16 seconds ago, we were talking about how it's 28 to 7, and the Gazelles got to get something going. And now we're looking at it at halftime. And well, Jay Money has four passing touchdowns. Jalen Jones has a touchdown, and it's 35 to 7. Wow. Jay Money, 7 for 8, 2 14, four, four touchdowns. Gazelle's got to do something here in the second half. They got to figure out a way to get the offense moving, moving a lot faster, and getting uh, a little bit more big plays than they did in that first half. They get ball to start the third quarter, so maybe they could start off with a, a great drive to swing the momentum.
that just another screen, man. Seems like this uh, this uh, offensive coordinator's playbook has a lot of screen plays, but man, flip to a new page because they're not working. No, just tear tear it, hit it, tear the page out. Tear the page out. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you gotta get rid of that. Wow. Archie Wild on another screen. Look at that, Jason Brzee. Oh, they're Ooh. throwing it deep. This was a this was what they need to call. This was they bending in the call. But they're calling all the screens. Wow. Because those might just uh, get in the end zone here. They're at the five, uh, five yard line. Yeah, but it's a matter if they can stop the Panthers' offense a couple of times. Well, I don't know if they'll be able to do that. But look at that. Touchdown Gazelles. They're in there for a score. And it's going to be 35-214 if Analyzer can put this through. And he does. Oh, no, he didn't. Jamar Chase, the one-handed snag, run for 52. Mm. Uh-oh. Flinny Floss, a hat trick. Flinny Floss. Oh, he does not have the hat trick. A trick. Ooh. Uh, they throw it deep. They can. Who's uh, like? But they're not throwing screens. They're moving the ball down the field. But you know, it's crazy how well Hunter Jackson does with the, his McBots at receiver. This guy's got seven for one hundred nine and a touchdown here in this one. Oh, I go from behind on McGee by McGee, but he picked up 18, almost at 100 yards rushing. Ooh. See, it's just so right there.
foul. Ted Potts, the rookie, gets him a deflection, and he's involved in the action now. It was great to see how they traded him. How they traded everybody. So it's third down. Pandas have 10 yards to go. They've only been on one third down all day. Well... And now it's two third downs, and they're two for two. Jamar Chase, three for 200, two touchdowns. Wow, almost a Randy Moss type game. Last time he was y'all in a third down situation. Um, the exact same route for a touchdown to the exact same player, Jamar Chase. It's crazy how that works out, doesn't it? Yeah. Fourth quarter, though, 49-21. to 21. Five minutes left to go here in this one. And, man, it is not looking good for Ghana here at home. But it's still five minutes to go. Anything is possible. Finally made it to the bathroom line, bro. It was packed down there today. Probably stinked in there after what's going on here. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if they have a brown field, you got, you got to color it somehow. <laughs> That's Canada. Uh, this game not close, bro. Unfortunate time to join. Puts it up the middle, though. Uh, that second now, maybe. Hey, they not gonna get this. Wow, X Factor. I thought he was a receiver. No. Uh, I think he's a receiver now. He could be a good one. Oh. McBot is going crazy today. Hey, you know they cooked me the best. Tina. Ooh, big hit. Big bot couldn't hold it. Carlo Russell. Yeah, I'm risking it like I'm a uh, fucking Jamari. Ooh. Got to fall asleep in the booth like he did. <laughs> it's getting dangerous out here. Fourth down, Mad Max uh, gets a big hit, knocks it free, and look at that. They're going to go for this. I mean, they got to if they want any shot at winning this game or coming back. But fourth and 12. Dang, chasing Berzee the second. Looking like Man. his pops out there. What did you just say his name was? Jason Brzee, the second. Brzee. Is that what it is? What is it? It's Breeze. Oh, Breeze. I, I was think. thinking it was like a, like a, what is the dude's name? Brian Brzee. Maybe, maybe I'm just stupid. There's a good chance about that. Um, who knows? I butcher like half these names. It's, so we're going to roll with, with something. But touchdown, Philip something. Everest. And if not, we can just give him a nickname. JB. 49 to 28. Gazelle's comeback has already started. 235 left to go. Can they get the stop? Maybe two, three of them. Time's not on their side. J 
Jalen Jones could have probably went for 100 yards right there if he didn't uh, cut inside. Well, there he goes. He going for 100. Touchdown, 68. Give him his second touchdown of the day. Jalen Jones is back at it again. So, 56-28. It looks like this is probably officially out of reach. And they've called their 15th screenplay of the day. Looks like they have not uh, ripped that sheet out of the playbook yet. Fucking hate. At this point, we hire Matt Canada. Matt Canada, at this point, I'd be looking at a CFL coach. Look at that analyzer making plays out there in his older days. Oh, that's tough. Turnover on downs, a minute 08. Game's on. Wrapped up. Yeah, we are. He's gone. There it is. Hat trick for him. Woohoo! Looks like the fans are already starting to hit the nice. bus. But there's still some of them and they're still going strong. <laughs> oh, let me show. But <sighs> 63 to 28. Not even close. Oh, it still runs greens. It's like they choke him. Dang. Pablo, baby, Carter Sanchez. Sanchez. Blown up. No game. Damn, bro, they ain't gonna try. I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, they got that 14-12 earlier. Dang, they just said they just want to end the game. That'll do it for the first one here, the CWSFL on this wonderful Wednesday. It's week seven. And that's a wrap here in Ghana as the Pandas crush the Gazelle 63-28. to I mean, the Gazelles put up 28 points. Might be more than some people expected, but... uh. They did. They did not. Um, they did not have too many answers today. J Money, eleven for thirteen, three sixty-four, six touchdowns. He's your player of the game. Sixty-three to twenty-eight. Pandas get it done on the road in Ghana, and they are now. Um, at a nice six and one on the season, while the the gazelles fall to two and five. J Money play it again. Jamar Chase two hundred yards of two touchdowns with just three catches. Pro Gold had two touchdowns off just two catches. Flandy Floss had a touchdown with one hundred five yards off just three catches. Jalen Jones eight for one ninety two and three touchdowns. 
Biggie Dishwasher got one reception for 29 yards and a touchdown. McGee got him a sack. Uh, DD Savage got him a, um, a fumble recovery. X Factor got three deflections. Archie Wild got an interception. Um, Cena got four tackles for loss. Bodie and Max had uh, six tackles. Look at that though. Hunter Jackson, 30 for 38. 273, three touchdowns, interception. Dang. We're going to say JB2, 13, 104. Phillip Evers, 15 for, seven, or 15 for 97 and a touchdown. Gawan Brown had five receptions, but zero yards. At least we know he can catch. Look at that, though. Defense was, uh, defense was lost out there, but Jack Loeb and Ted Potts both got two tackles. That's going to wrap it up here in Ghana for the first game of the day for week seven of the CWSFL on AWSN. We got the Pandas winning this one 63 to 28 over the Gazelles. This one was a lot of fun and we cannot wait to get going with our next game because we still got four more great ones lined up. But we got the Black Guards taking the Pumas for the second matchup of the season. Will we see the Pumas put up another 102 point shutout or are the Black Guard going to get it done with our grounded pound game? And get that first one of the season. It's going to be a good one. Cannot wait for it. We'll see you at 6.30. Peace out.